It's been a while since I got a bunch of dislikes, so I decided to speak about Fallout New Vegas for a bit. I can see what people like about this game, but when they sing its praises, they omit a lot of issues. So to start with the good, uh, that would be the plot, the writing, and of course the absolute cornucopia of unique quests that give you several options for how to complete them that also affect the world and flesh it out along the way. There's also a lot of interesting characters, but I never get the feeling that the characters were... real? Everyone feels a bit wooden. It's tempting to chalk that up to the age of the game, but it came out the same year as Mass Effect 2, one year later than Dragon Age Origins. If it wanted to be one of the great RPGs, it had to make the characters pop more. Make them feel more lifelike. Th this is a presentation issue I'm talking about, not writing. Also, I'm probably spoiled by Baldur's Gate 3 at this point, but very often obvious things I would like to ask an NPC are just not there. For example, there's this faction that used to be cannibals, but not anymore according to their leader, except you find that there's still cannibalism going on right under the leader's nose, so you go to tell her and the option just isn't there. And when I rescued the cannibal's victim, one of them saw it, turned hostile, causing me to kill him, which then resulted in the whole faction including the leader, who was supposedly working hard to make sure cannibalism isn't practiced anymore, turn against me. So, yeah, classic minor slip-up into genocide case. Uh, the faction doesn't exist anymore, uh, not that the game ever acknowledged it, really. Uh, now, getting around between those quests. Walking is annoyingly slow. There is fast travel once you've reached places, but even running to an NPC from the fast travel point gets old because of how long it takes. And of course you can't tra fast travel from indoors, which doesn't sound that bad until you remember that you are often running around buildings that are fucking labyrinths. Local map is totally useless half the time you're just running through endless identical corridors, I feel like I got lost every 10 minutes. And the building layout doesn't even make sense most of the time, it's, it's like it was made by AI. Also, even while doing one of those cool quests that I praised, I often have to guess where the fuck I'm supposed to go, while the quest assumes it to be obvious. Like I'm in the Repcon or whatever test site where the ghouls were launching themselves into space or some shit, and the dude just goes, go to the observation platform. This isn't supposed to be a challenge, all the enemies are dead, I'm just supposed to go to a specific place in the building, but I haven't been there before and the building is a giant labyrinth, so I spent like 10 minutes looking for the place, all while slogging along at the admittedly more realistic than most games, but just dreadfully boring move speed. Side note, how terrible is Sunset Sarsaparilla if there's still unlooted vending machines with it? Just wondering. Anyway, there's a decent amount of like places in the open world, but they rarely have anything interesting in them. It's like endless mountains of junk, maybe a few enemies. I would be less annoyed by this if every detour wouldn't take so much walking time, it just kinda increases my threshold for what reward is acceptable. And I don't even mean loot reward, I mean content. A lot of those places are basically ubi shit bandit camps. They're boring and it takes too long to get to them. Seriously, the game would be twice as good if you could move twice as fast. By the way, all the environments feel the same. It's all grey concrete or sand, which I guess is appropriate for the setting, but it's also just boring. Combat. Um, workable, kind of awkward. The mechanics are super basic, you just fire your gun or swing your weapon and hopefully hit the enemy. Nothing wrong with that, but also nothing noteworthy. That is this awkward callback that turn-based combat used to paint over the crappy gunplay when you get into a tight space with a rabid ghoul or something, but it, it doesn't add much. Uh, your movement in combat is kinda realistic, which is another word for boring as fuck. There's a good reason why most games speed that shit up and give you some special moves. I mean seriously, the tactical combat in Fallout 1 and 2 felt so much better just because it wasn't standing next to a billion games doing the same thing, but vastly better. It's, they've gone to great lengths to give Fallout New Vegas substance, 
and the gameplay feels like it was just totally forgotten. Oh, let's not forget that the game is buggy as hell. People have meme Bethesda games being buggy to the point that it almost sounds like it's an enduring quality, but it's really not. When a quest item has fallen through the terrain or I get stuck in an NPC as it goes to sleep in mid-air where I'm standing, I can see the funny side, but I'm still fucking deducting points. So, to sum this up, uh, Fallout New Vegas is a well-written game that is mediocrely acted and animated, boringly drawn and designed, and where the majority of gameplay is either slogging around those boring environments at a snail's pace, or engaging in barely competent combat. And yes, all of that applies when taking the age of the game into account. Plenty of contemporary games did all of it much better. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 and I feel like I'm being generous. If it didn't have all that cool writing and quest design, it would literally be a 4, as in like, barely functional. There's a game, you can, you can play it, it works. We really need more RPGs to push that bar up if this is what people are simping for.